So I'm here at the Roxborough Recreation Ground for the Coca-Cola Intercall match between Bishops High School and Signal Hill Secondary, the defending Tobago Intercall champs, who, unfortunately, got knocked out in the league. So it's a kind of weird thing they're playing, the people who got promoted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick around, watch the tape, see what's up. Football is a taste, distinctive from the first minute. Sometimes it's unforgettable and other times, not so much. A taste that may cool you down or set you on fire. It doesn't matter how you taste it, but if you taste it for real, it will always taste like glory. Come out to support your favorite teams at the Coca-Cola Intercol 2017 season. Has, has a very rich history of the Coca-Cola Intercol competition. We have nine titles and we are hunting for more. At the end of the day, results matter. And we got relegated at the end of the day. So you count that as disappointment. But at the same time, I mean, you have some young players who I think the experience would have done. Because this was the first season, we had a lot of new players in the team. And that would have that would have hampered us a little bit because we lost nine players from last season. So it, would have, it was a big gap to, to try to fill up that with players who never play at this level. My role is a very important role on the team because I keep the team moving left, right, back and forth, around. If I come back next year, I come back for one reason. I come back to push my team to carry back down in the league at you all the time. If we get the motive from, I will make sure we go back down there. Coca-Cola Intercol is a great advertisement for young players, for, for, youth, for youth football, for the country. Um, this is a chance to show yourself. You never know who scouts watching, what national coach watching, a big team, a club team, Jabloti, W Connection watching. So this is an advertisement for young players. So the Coca-Cola Intercol is, is a, great, a great avenue for young players to show themselves and put, put themselves forward in the future. a lot of players and even though we lost a lot of players I believe that the school needs to rebuild although this is my last year I'm sorry I couldn't keep the team up there but I believe they will rebuild and get back in the Premier League. As I said we have some under 16 players who will be there next year so we had to bring up a few more. We don't know what kind of chances we might get in, so it will be tough, but hopefully we could start the pre-season much earlier than we started this year, because we started really late. Um, if we could start it, we need to start at least three months in advance to try to get young players to play at this level, fitness up, um, understanding what they need to do at this level of football. 
So hopefully we get to start the pre-season earlier, we'll see how, what kind of team we have and build from there. So try to come back up. Bishops played a very good game. I mean, they work hard off the ball. They, they so tried the to defend deep. So it was kind of tough breaking them down, but eventually so we, we, we got the ball away. There you have it. It's a wrap for Wired 868. And we are here in Tobago searching for a hero. Love it, like it, share it, spread the good word. This has been Coca-Cola Interpol Action, so stay tuned. We're covering everything. <laughs>